So I'm gonna read just what I, what I have here. Uh, the two areas I'd like to, like assistance with are money, finances, abundance, and career success. Uh, my limiting belief is that I don't believe I can have it all, that there's this other shoe that always drops. Um, I know that I can have it you know, the way I want it, uh, intellectually from your work, but I also know that after the high vibration of this workshop wears off in a few days, <laughs> that I'll be back to where I usually am and won't be able to get back there where I am now. Um, I run my old neural goat paths and have trouble getting out of them. I want to allow more in my life. Um, I know I've put it there already, step one, uh, but I have this difficulty getting into a consistent allowing space where I can feel the shift instead of just thinking the thoughts that don't shift my vibration. And the reason that I said, quote, I want my own Abraham, as I said here in 2020, um, is so I can achieve this and help others in the process similar to what Esther does here. Well, you've got your own Abraham, but you're not letting it in. And a repetition of what you just read to us is why. Mm -hmm. We understand it, but here's the easiest way for this to unfold for you. And that was a really good summary of what a whole lot of people are experiencing. And so it's a good basis to begin here today. The most important thing that we want you to receive from us in direct response to what you just said is that we can know it. Your inner being can know it. You can, as you perfectly said, sort of conceptually or intellectually understand it. It can feel logical to you and you can witness other people with financial success and with the magnificent businesses that they're wanting. But none of that really registers with you. What registers with you, the only thing that does teach is life experience. And so the reason that you were really solid on those things that you know are in your way is because you're living them. It's a theory. It's often vocalized and you're witnessing it. So it's hard not to believe something like that. So you want to find a way and we're going to help you do it. You want to find a way to believe more and more of what you do want because words don't teach. So it's like this, when you live some life and identify a desire and you focus on the desire and it feels disappointing or doubtful to you and you understand what that means you understand intellectually as you said that that disappointment that negative emotion means that you are off track in your perspective at least off track in the sense that your inner being is looking at it differently so that intellect that checking the authenticity of something that rings true to you in other words I'm doubting it and I don't want to doubt it that's what we heard you say I don't want to doubt it I want to trust it I don't want to wonder about it. I want to know it well the only way you can do that is by life experience so how are you gonna get from where you aren't to where you want to be how do you get that experience so here is the valid easy to understand and easy to apply process here's the basis of it satisfaction only comes from one place having a desire and moving in the direction of it so every time you're moving in opposition to your desire you don't feel satisfaction you feel dissatisfaction so understanding that when you ask for something that you haven't spent a lot of time doubting you just identify it and focus on it just a little bit and in the process of doing it doubt doesn't come up because Frank claims it's not that big of a deal to you but just the same because you focused on it and you didn't have any doubt about it a pathway of its unfolding will show up to you and this time it's gonna be a more believing experience because you thought about it on purpose and then you witnessed the unfolding of it and it's undeniable and so words didn't teach but your life experience showed you last weekend in Long Beach we told the story of Jerry and Esther Esther usually drove and Jerry was navigating and often he would read something to them while they were driving 
and someone had given a book. The preface of the book was talking about prosperity and was talking about how if you're looking for evidence of your prosperity, how helpful that is. Because as we just said, words don't teach, but seeing evidence of it is very helpful. And the book indicated that when you see a coin, acknowledge that came in response to my desire for prosperity. And so as soon as Jerry and Esther got out of the bus after reading that, there were pennies everywhere, bright, shiny pennies everywhere. So they laughed about it because that can be coincidence. They truly aren't that exciting either, but they were obnoxiously prevalent. We really spookily. So it was like, come on. It was like somebody was playing a game with them and just walking ahead of them and sprinkling pennies everywhere. And Esther was picking them up. She had a bag full of them. She kept saying to Jerry, we should have asked for silver dollars or gold pieces or diamonds or something, but they were having a really good time with it. And then after several days of this, they got on an airplane, they were sitting at the bulkhead. And as the airplane was lifting off, Esther looked down and the end of her shoes were two shiny copper pennies standing on their edge standing up stood up and of course their logic because nothing comes without logic everything is logical but there are a whole lot of logical things that you're denying because you're doubting that they can come to you or in some way so Esther said I'm so glad you saw that because nobody would believe me and Jerry said same it was weird it was weird even considering the thrust of the plane and how it had come about even the fact that Esther's looking at her feet during takeoff is a weird sort of thing and so words don't teach but life experience teaches and it was easy for them to connect the dots that book stimulated thought that thought stimulated a focused desire we didn't get in the way of the attraction of pennies and there they were everywhere so we told the story and then Esther went with some friends out to dinner in Long Beach and there on some street, she had no idea where they were, was the biggest statue of a copper penny standing on its edge. <laughs> People have been sending her photographs of it ever since. Everyone's seen it. Not because the statue wasn't already there but because so many people in attendance found some reason to be on some street to see something that we had only talked about briefly. In other words, when you start connecting those dots, so what are we saying to you here? Make decisions about what you want and stay focused upon it, milk it with a determination to feel good while you're doing it. And then as any kind of evidence shows up, connect those dots until you understand finally once and for all that this is not random this is the universe responding to your desire to your deserving to anything that you want your inner being is already there so all of the legwork has been done all of the cooperative components have been gathered the only thing that is missing is you deciding and you lining up with it and then you saying oh that's a clue that's a clue that's a clue that's a clue because words don't teach but evidence does showing yourself so what do you show yourself in a scenario like this you show yourself that you have desire you show yourself you have the ability to focus you show yourself that you can feel when you're doubting and when you're believing you can feel the fluidity of the emotions within you and you show yourself that you can choose to focus because you care about the way you feel you choose yourself that life isn't about just observing Life is about deciding and then observing the pieces of what you've decided about. That's what deliberate creation is. Everything else is creation by default. And then you'll never read anything like that to us or anyone again. You'll say, I wanted and I was already close and I understand the laws of the universe. And every day I witness my own worthiness. I witness my own deservability because all kinds of things all kinds of things you'll reach the place where you'll begin to say I'm never denied about anything I'm never denied 
it always shows up and the length of time it takes has to do with how long I've been trending in opposition and how easy it was for me to just let that trending go and how willing I was and here it is how willing I was how much I wanted more than the money more than the prestige more than the business more than any of it I just want to feel good I just want to know I just want to know I'm worthy I want to know I'm smart I want to know my point of attraction I want to know inner being is focused upon me I want to know I want to know I want to fulfill my reason for being here you are a creator you're a creator and yes creating is step one which is some observing and asking that's step one asking step two not your work your inner being's got that covered step three is you got to find vibrational frequency that matches that of your inner being so that means when you feel doubt or competition jealousy or anger or any of those negative emotions what it means is your crossways of what your inner being knows let's find some strong words we want you to know unless you know what your inner being knows you're not going to get anything that you want you know why you told your inner being that you want it and that's why you have emotions your inner being is in on this you are an extension of source energy you're not a creator in this physical blob <laughs> that you call your physical body your consciousness that is flowing through this physical body but your consciousness your consciousness and you want the consciousness that is you to meld with the consciousness that is your intent the consciousness that is your knowing in other words you are a creator but you've got to join forces with the intender of that creating you were before you came into this body you were a decider and you said I'm gonna go forth into leading edge experience and I'm gonna have exposure to life and I'm gonna choose and your inner being perspective said and I'm we I'm we we're all in this together and we're gonna watch you choose and when you do we're gonna be right there and there will never be a moment in time as long as you're in your physical body that you will not know whether you've left the thread or whether you're right on the mark you said good deal I'll pay attention to the way I feel and I'll care about feeling good then here you came splat into your physical body and instead of calibrating to your inner being you start calibrating to other humans who are so full of flawed premises why you don't deserve that most of them wanting to control you in some way they mean well most of them they do they mean well if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next